Hello, and welcome to Mammoth Cave National Park. My name is Ranger Jonathan, and I am back on the attack. But today, I'm going to be sharing something with you from the Project Wet curriculum. It's an activity called a drop in the bucket. Oh, goosebumps all over. Let's talk about this. It ain't magic. It's an inflatable globe. Ooh, ah, it's spinning. Actually, I'm making it spin. As you look at this globe, you will notice that there's a lot of blue. That blue is a representative of water. That is correct. You are awesome. Good job. So we're going to use this graduated cylinder to look at a breakdown of that water and other graduated cylinders. They graduated the Cylinder Academy. 1,000 milliliters is going to be representative of the water on Earth. 970 milliliters of that is going to be salt water. Yeah. Take a drink. Actually, don't. It's salt water. Not yet. So, I just happen to have some salt to make this more effective. Cha -cha 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 -cha. Salt water. But how exciting is that? Unless we don't put a little bit of color in it, huh? So whenever I get this out, we're going to do this to all of them. I want you to say, put some blue in there, okay? One, two, three. Put some blue in there. Awesome. Great job. What are we going to do? Put some blue in there. There's some blue in there right there. Great job. You all are fantastic today. So as that blue swirls around, we're going to move to the next piece of water. Now, this one's a little bit tricky. We only have 24 milliliters of this type of water. And I would have to say that it's pretty solid. In fact, it matters a lot. Get what I'm saying? What do you think it is? Ah, that's a really nice icebreaker. In fact, this is gonna be representative of glaciers and ice caps. So we're gonna fill it to 24 milliliters. There you are, ooh, hello. And before we chill it down a little bit, what are we going to do? Put some blue in it. Ah, yes, we're going to put some blue in it. Make it exciting and delighting. Oh, my aim is impeccable today. Oh, hello. We're making quite a splash. So next, Lee, we have another area where there's some water. And we unfortunately can't get to this as easily. We're going to put six milliliters in here. I'm eyeballing it up. I ain't baking a cake. I'm just making science and magic. Oh, perfect. Now, what are we going to do with this water here? Put some blue in We're it. We're going to put some blue right in it. And this is unavailable fresh water. Now, was it actually blue? Probably not. But we like to get wild on any day of the week. Here we go. So, which leads us to our drinkable or potable or potable water. How much do you think, looking at my table here of tools, what type of implement will let us see that easily and effectively? If you have a very keen eye, you might have noticed this eyedropper. So now I have this water right here. Now, of course, to prepare it, what do we have to do? Put some blue in Put it. Put some blue in it, my goodness. Hello. Blue is the color that dreams are made of. Oh, that's not it. Let's stir it up a little bit. Yeah. So, the amount of drinkable or potable water One drop, a drop in the bucket, the name of the activity and the namesake of all of this stuff right over here. The balance is uncanny. So with this in mind, with this in mind, we just want to do a little bit of a review for you, if that's all right. 
this activity was indeed called a drop in the bucket. And I think I dropped the bucket over there, unfortunately, but we're living on the edge. 100, or excuse me, 1,000 milliliters represents all of the water on Earth. 970 milliliters of that salt water. 24 milliliters of that glaciers and ice caps. Ooh, what a chill environment. Six milliliters, unavailable fresh water, down there, over there, around there, somewhere. One drop, portable, drinkable, fresh water. I hope that you enjoyed our time together today. Thank you again to Project Wet's curriculum and this activity, a drop in the bucket. My name again is Ranger uh, Jonathan. And if we ever want to have fun with water and we have some food coloring, what are we going to do? Put a little blue in it. Put a little blue in it. As the ancient uh, philosopher Bob Ross once said, it's your world. Thank you all for joining. I hope to see you again soon.